And how long did it take to finish it from the, the beginning of the creative process to the finished moment? I would say that like one year because um, maybe, you know, sometimes Evgeny just has old demos that have like a very short part. And then in five years, he can just evolve it to a big, bigger song. So sometimes it's like this. But with this album, I would say that 2021 was the entire Uh, year for us uh, to finish the songs uh, because it also took me half a year to learn more about Sofia Jablonska and to read her works and you know to write the lyrics to complete the vocal lines um, and then like we recorded half of the album and then it was like intercepted by the war so recording took longer and like creating videos and the rest of the stuff. Yeah, who is working Uh, while you are in in this situation i can imagine it's difficult work yeah in a <sighs> with, with a war in the background yeah well i don't know on one hand we're like terrified by the war mm. and um it's really very hard to work under such conditions on the other hand at least kiev like the capital of ukraine where we work is not occupied And that helped us, you know, to continue with the recording. So basically, we recorded half of the album before the war started, the full-scale war. Then it was like nearly two months that we couldn't do anything because it was mostly about the survival. And like, um, it was very close. Like we had the occupied territories very close to where we lived. So like every day wasn't about like a recording or music or whatever. Then we um, we just realized we would like our culture, you know, to go on and the album to go on. And when we realized that we could, we basically continued recording the album, which was very hard because we had to travel like three hours to the studio through multiple checkpoints where they, you know, checked your passport or whatever, because the war is going on in um, in Ukraine. And um uh, Yeah, and we had we recorded it under air raid sirens, missile attacks, um, but we completed it. Then we had very hard time to film the videos and take the photos. So we had to postpone the album in any case because a lot of members of production teams, they were or on the front line or they were on occupied territories Sometimes you couldn't film anything because all, all the studios were closed. Then when it started rolling out, we had another problem because Russia bombed all the energy structures. So sometimes we could leave like three, four days without electricity. And when you're trying to organize music video filming, it's impossible because you don't have internet, you don't have... Um, mobile connection you cannot call your team you cannot book the studio it's like it's insane and when you film a video you need a lot of electricity for the lights for cameras so we were using generators but in the end I don't know how but we filmed three videos in two months during the biggest blackouts in Ukraine All the videos have been filmed in Ukraine with only Ukrainian production teams. So in the end, we managed it. Um, I don't like uh, making these questions because I know that it's a very sensitive topic and I don't like uh, to touch the, these topics. But how I was saying, this is a question that my subscribers repeated a lot. And they want to know uh, how did the situation in Ukraine affect you and the band musically and emotionally? Well, I guess we were mostly affected emotionally because when the war started, we had already all the songs written for this album. And uh, emotionally, of course, it's something that you cannot describe with words because until you really hear all the bombing and shelling and all these air raid sirens, until you see like your friends and family dying on the front line until you like it's I don't know it's some kind of a nightmare that never ends gradually you adapt to it which I think is even more terrifying because it's been a year 
and we've seen so much pain and suffering like and it's not somewhere abroad it's very close to us and apart from all the horrors of war i think we as a band were very affected by the fact that we cannot go on in full as a band we cannot tour properly because because of the war men are not allowed out of the country because they can be mobilized to fight in the war at any moment so the pandemic is over everybody is going back to touring and we cannot everybody continues with their music we cannot so it's very hard sitting and not being able to do anything when the rest of the music industry is go moving forward you know mm. it's really hard yes and can you get something positive out of this thanks to music well i don't know i um i always say that we don't really romanticize the war and like there is some kind of a perception that you know when an artist is in pain and suffering then the creative process comes or whatever but uh during the war I would say that it's more of a void that we're feeling. It's very hard to come up with anything new and anything creative. And I think that um, musically, it's really hard to write anything new now. And mm. I personally put all my creation into preparing for music videos because I worked on all the style, on all the costumes and like ideas, how to decorate the setting of the filming. So it was a lot of creative process, just not music wise, you know? And um, yeah, it's music of course helped. Fun fact, when the war started, we couldn't listen to any kind of music and it happened to many other people because When you are sitting in a basement, you know, and you are terrified of every sound outside, you cannot listen to any music as well. And I would say that when we could listen to music again, it was a great sign that our nervous system just started adapting to the situation. Have you talked about leaving the country to be away from this? Well, I can leave because I'm a woman, so it's not a problem for me, but I saw no reason. I mean, if I were on an occupied territory, then of course I would either leave to the free part of Ukraine if I had a chance because it's already very hard, or I would move abroad. But um, I mean... When the Kiev region like was deoccupied, I mean the suburbs of Kiev, I just had I've I felt very bad about leaving. We lived we lived for a few shows last year, uh, the charity shows, and then we got back. And I don't know, more than ever, I want to be like in my country right now. And I really have faith in our armed forces and that we will, you know. Uh, win this war and just by staying here we also help the country because we contribute to the economy of the country and the war takes a lot of money you know so when by just staying here and supporting the people here the economy just by going to the coffee shop and to buy some coffee you support other people in this country because you give them money for the work yeah. and This is some kind of our contribution, you know. Yeah, yeah. Ginger is uh, donating a, a lot of money with selling merch. Um, that, that's But they are not staying in the country. No, no, they, they are uh, on tour. Um, what are your future plans after this release? Do you have a minor Latin American tour or you can't go out from the country yet? Uh, it's a complicated question because uh, in the past year it was pretty easy for a band to leave the country for tours and get back so we just got an approval from the ministry of culture but because some bands have violated the rules and they didn't come back now it's very hard to get this permission next to impossible and it's been like this for one month only and you can see a lot of ukrainian bands canceling their tours because they cannot leave they're not allowed to leave 
We just hope that this situation changes because it would be very, I don't know, reckless not to have any Ukrainian bands out there in the world promoting their music, Ukrainian culture, and also telling more about what's happening here. So, of course, we want to tour as many countries as possible. And, of course, we would love to visit Latin America because we never played there. We know that people listen to us there. So let's just hope that the situation changes and we come because we think that when we rehearse this album, like in our rehearsal studio, we it, it brings us a lot of fun and we feel the power of these songs and we think that they would sound great live on stage. So we would love that.